So hi everybody, welcome back to the Super Sport Shed. Today I'm going to start the process of tearing down this uh, this motor. Uh, this is the one that came out uh, of the bike that threw a rod. And as we can see now with the exhaust off, there's something in there and it looks horrible. But anyway, let's wait and see. A um, few observations about this motor is that I think it uh, may well be that it's got uh, RTV cancer. Uh, as I understand, this motor was pulled apart not long before it failed to have the um, to have the starter clutch repaired. And just looking around, uh, it just seems to be full of RTV. So it wouldn't surprise me if the oil strainer down the bottom has, uh, has sucked up a lot of RTV and crud. But we'll wait and see. Could be a number of reasons. It just could be the shell came off or the bike was over revved. We'll have to wait and see. Unfortunately, what I did discover is this. Um, when I took the motor back, water came out, which is a real, real disappointment. There's That's a bit surprising because it was in a garage and in there as well. We can see that's actually got water in it. So I don't know what other horrors we're going to find inside. Um, but hey ho, it's a, a CBX motor. Uh, I'll recover what I can from it and it will go into building up some other motors as I go forward. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the teardown. Um, I'll be putting this on time lapse because you're probably not going to want to see every detail. But uh, uh, I will record most of it and show you the highlights as it's pulled apart. So look forward to catching up in a minute. Take care. Okay guys, so we're just about to get this underway. So first thing to do when uh, pulling a, a CBX motor apart is to remove the taco drive. If you don't remove this and you try and remove the rocket cover without removing this, you can do a lot of damage inside. You, you'll break the cam, cut, the cam cap and bend the, uh, the taco drive if you're not careful. So I'm just going to whip this out now. I'm using electric tool today because I'm recording this in time of the essence. Pull that. Actually, there is no taco drive in here, believe it or not. Honestly, say this is probably one of the worst uh, stuck on rocker covers I've ever had to deal with. Um, this has been well and truly bonded on, and I saved the removal for you guys until last. I have freed it up, but it's it's gummed up. My goodness, I think this definitely has a case of RTV cancer. Look at that! Oh my goodness. That is a shocker. That is a real shocker. So yes, that isn't a pleasant sight. Anyway, we're inside now. So basically the next thing we're gonna do is, uh, is basically start pulling this, this, uh, this head apart. So here we go. And one of the problems I may have is actually getting this uh, these camshafts so I think because the engine may may or may not rotate. So we'll, we'll come across, we'll find that in a little while. Um, so before I do that, I'm just going to remove the cam cap covers. Sorry, the end cam cap cover. More RTV. You must have had shares in the RTV company. So let's just see if this motor will turn over at all. It's going to be interesting. Ooh. Completely sea solid that motor. So I've got to figure out, uh, you know, try and figure out, may have, may have to even cut the cam chain on this, uh, which is a possibility. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. In fact, under the circumstances, that probably is the easiest option. 
is to cut the cam chain and I can just take the head off without removing the, uh, the valves. So uh, I think I'm going to proceed down that route. So I'm just going to stop you there, get my grinder, I'm going to cut the chain here and then we'll move on, we'll move forward because there's no way I can turn this engine over without forcing it. Crack on. So I've now, I'm now going to cut this timing chain, I've just covered the, uh, the cylinder head and the cam covers to avoid getting uh, filings uh, unnecessarily onto the cams. So I'm very, very carefully now going to start cutting this, uh, this cam chain. There we go. So there's the cam chain cut. And uh, so now that means basically the cylinder head is basically free to come off as it is without, uh, without affecting anything else. So I'm just going to take the head off as it is and I'll strip that down at a later date. And just like when you tighten the head, wherever possible, try and undo it sequentially. Start off and work your way back in. That's a Z, so we've got some smaller bolts down here. Okay, so I'm trying to make progress here. I think this head's going to be pretty well stuck on. Just a few points of uh, note. Um, I've cut the cam chain. I've removed the two bolts from each end of the, the cylinder head. There are two bolts supposed to be under here, but they're actually uh, actually missing. And uh, and the cam chain tensioner bolt, the top cam chain tensioner bolt that, uh, that goes through the head. Um, I will take the opportunity now to remove the uh, to remove the oil pipe from the. Uh, from the head. Get a good bite on there. What is that then? Oh. So I have just already been rang this head to give it a, a tap um, to uh, to try and break the seal. Uh, I've got a feeling this head's going to cause me some problems. I don't know why, I just do. And so uh, we'll take it one step at a time. So um, one point to note, I always try and if I can remove the washers because they will get caught as the head's coming off. So I, I, I try and remove those if I can. But I'm just going to double check in that, uh, that I have removed everything because quite often, even if you've done these a lot of times, you do quite often forget things. We all do it, so we just have to make absolutely doubly sure. So I can't see anything on this head why it won't pop off now. So what I use is a block of wood and a copper hammer. It needs some mass to, to move. And on each of the corners here you've got some reinforcing that goes through the fins. So just gently tap around there and hopefully the thing will come through. Which it has. And I didn't make this up, it just has happened that way. So, so this head appears to be free now, and we're just going to pull off. I'll have to wait and see. Well, it is, my goodness me. So, let's see what, weight, what horrors are waiting us inside. Yes, yeah, so, oh my goodness, that is not good. Um, but anyway, I'll, I'll get the camera and I'll show you this in a minute. Hopefully you can see that horrible mess in there, look. It's actually got water in there, so can you believe that? So that's going to cause us some problems. But uh, this barrel will be able to use. I, I know it's got a, a stock piston in there, a broken piston. But uh, actually what that can do, we can take this, this liner out and, and pop another one in. 
So there we go. So that's where we are. So the head's off now. Be interesting to see what that cam chain temperature is like because you guys who work on CBXs know these are like rocking horse shit and a good one is, uh, is they're very hard to find. But we'll have a look at that in a minute. So what I've decided to do for the moment is actually put some compression stabiliser in here. This stuff's fantastic for getting down in the side of rings and, uh, and degumming them. In this case it's corrosion but uh, hopefully that will, uh, will free this up and I'll get these barrels off fairly quickly. Um, the RTV is the next uh, challenge that I have to encounter. But uh, these barrels are never easy to get off even at the best of times. So uh, this one is going to be a real challenge without actually breaking any fins off. But let, let's say uh, one step at a time and see how we get on. Catch up soon. Well, surprises of surprises. Uh, I put this compression stabiliser on here and, uh, and just left it for a bit. Um, cam chain tensioners are in surprisingly good condition. Um, so this one isn't perfect, but uh, I would be quite happy to use this in one of my own projects, maybe not on a customer's bike. But on my, uh, on my own projects, um, I'd be quite happy to use this. We can see here there's some slight cracking down the side here on both sides, um, which is quite normal. Key thing to look for is cracking down, cracking down the main blade, which there isn't any on this. So I'd be quite happy to use this in one of my own projects. Um, if not, then uh, you know get this refurbished at somewhere like the Six Center, or I know that uh, Mr. Hyde now has launched his new tensioners, which I hope to get around to uh, evaluating myself in the not too distant future. So uh, good work done there for all of those that ain't there that are, are working to towards keeping these beasts alive. So uh, there we go. So I'm going to try. Um, I've now given this a bit of a tap. Now, whenever you're trying to remove the barrels or heads on any bike, um, use something soft, okay? And also look for the reinforcing down through because that's the important one. If you tap these, they'll break off immediately. So, uh, you know, I've got an approach now. I've also seen here, I've seen a lot of these damaged in the past and distorted. Um, and, I, and I think I've seen actually you guys commenting on this. Um, and quite often these actually get broken off. I've never seen them broken off by a cam chain, maybe they do, maybe you guys want to comment, but they do get broken for whatever reason, and I can only see them it's down to try and remove the barrels. So I have actually just given this a little tap, and surprisingly enough, it's, uh, it's started moving. It might be rocking, but let's just see. There we get on. Surprisingly, considering that water has been sat in there for some time, I'm amazed. Um, we got a piston stuck in there with a broken conrod. Surprise, surprise. Um, as I say, look at the RTV there, shocking. So that's the barrels off now, so now we go to the next stage. So next stage now, is removing all the ancillaries, the alternator, the starter, the clutch, um, and then we'll flip the engine over and remove and split the crankcases. But uh, yeah, it's looking rather messy in there. Shocking about this RTV, but there we go. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna start moving forward and let the time lapse do the job now in removing the ancillaries. But anyway, you've seen me take the head off, the barrels off, and we'll take it from this point forward. Catch up soon.